everyone's waiting for story time. Hey homies, how's it going? Welcome back to a new video. I hope you guys are doing well. So today we're checking out some found footage which kind of fits within the analog horror genre. This series is called Storytime with Mr. Simon, created by Play, and it is literally just Play. There's two videos in the series so far, we're going to be checking out both of them today. There is a disclaimer also that some scenes may be disturbing, so viewer discretion is advised. So if this is something you feel that might creep you out, then yeah, you know what to do. The following found footage also is being shown as part of the play's ongoing investigation into materials found at an abandoned residence. So just thinking about it being an abandoned residence kind of gives me the creeps. So let's dive in. Let's go and see Mr. Simon and I guess enjoy some story time. All right. So we're going to dive into the first video, story time with Mr. Simon. This is episode one. I've also got subs on as well. So in case we miss anything, hopefully we won't. But let's find out. There's Mr. Simon. Looks a bit of a creepy fellow. <laughs> but let's just go with it, I guess. Here we are. Let's dive in, y'all. I'm going to say straight up, this reminds me of a very early 90s kids show. And, like, the quality is very authentic. At least in my opinion, but yeah. Let's go, y'all. Oh, wow. Everyone's waiting for story time. Oh, hello, children. Hello. hello. I'm going to be a child for this one video, okay? I mean, I'm a child to heart, but still. And I just want to just say one thing before we go any further, guys. But everybody's waiting for story time. I'm definitely a better singer than Mr. Simon. If you agree, let me know. Welcome to story time with me, Mr. Simon. <laughs> Why did that feel really edgy? And like, what's that in the background? That sun looks now weird. I know you're very excited to see all your favorite characters. I am. The long sleeves and the look away bear. But boy, oh boy, do we have a story for you. Okay. Are you excited? I am. Yeah. But when I look at you like that, I, it kind of makes me want to run away. I don't know if that's the whole point of this, and maybe is, is he like a bad person or something? I'm jumping to conclusions, I think, but that fit that face there and that still is giving me very, very edgy vibes, and I don't like it. That's fantastic. Oh, cool. But before we hop, hop, hop into this one, children, have you been obeying your parents? Uh, yeah. Serving your community. Oh wow. And devoting yourself. One. Oh. Okay, so that was very quick. So how he's gone. Okay, so have you been have you been devoting yourself to who? To who? I couldn't really catch that at all. It was very distorted that. Hmm. Okay. Wow. We'll have a we'll see if we can come back to that maybe at some point. Yeah. Yeah. Fantastic. The, the face was a bit creepy Give too, you know. A massive cheer. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> and since you've been so faithful, it's now time for Story of the Week. And what's that? Let's dive in, man. I want a story. The Tale of Little Brother Timothy. Little Brother Timothy, all right. <clears throat> Timothy can't wait for his first day of seminary. He puts his items in his bag. He puts his pencil. He puts his lunch in. Right. He puts his over jacket. Very quick thing though, right? Like, why is his face redacted? Look, look at that. So he's redacted. Why? Is that just to put some edginess and like something on this? Or is that literally it? You see what I'm trying to say? Because that's a bit weird. Like, why is this is a children's program and we're reading like a children's book. I, uh, you're going to assume, right? And you've then got a redacted child in that uh book hmm seems a bit off to me do you guys agree does that seem a bit off to me it does a little bit so let's just keep going and his texts and of course most importantly the that's Whoa. right kid 
What the watcher? The watcher. What is is that a toy? I'm assuming so, right? Yeah. Be passes by several outside merchants on the way to seminary. First a bookshop, then a confectionery shop. Sweets. Let's go. And then a toy. Ooh. There's little bits of like cuts out, and I don't know if I'm just missing the point here, but it cuts out and it seems really weird. But then also, so I've just seen that watcher and it looked really creepy, right? Now, I don't know if I'm jumping to conclusions about the bit we saw briefly earlier when they were talk when they said, devote yourself to. Are we devoting ourselves, are the kids or like Timothy devoting themselves to the watcher? Am I fear over theorizing it right now? Maybe, but I'm kind of feeling that might be it because it was a very dark image on there of the Watcher, which seems to be a toy, which I think we did see actually in the start of the start of this video. It did pop up a little bit actually. I don't know if that is what it is, and I could be wrong, but I that's what I think it is. Again, I could be wrong. If I'm wrong, then fine, but I kind of feel that might be what it is. It does look a bit similar, right? If you look at the image here, it does look a bit similar. Timothy passes by several outside merchants on the way to seminary. First a bookshop, then a confectionery shop, and then a toy. Mm, okay, why is that, why, is that Timothy like down there outside the shop or not? Timothy I'm assuming so. Timothy is tempted by the toy shop and is about to go in. But before he does, something makes him stop. And what's that? The, the watcher, watcher, the watcher. The watcher. That's right, kid. Whoa. Timothy pulls the watcher out. He remembers toys from the outside world are not permitted. The watcher will not allow them. Oh, okay. Now, children, oh. I wish I could tell you that this is the point of the story where young Timothy continued on to the seminary. But unfortunately, that is not the case. So what happened? Oh, no. Whoa. The watcher sees all. Did that just say they took something about his nose off? And that is a really look at that still man. He looks so Oh my god, that actually that's gonna give me nightmares tonight. I can't I need to stop looking at it, looking at it, man. <laughs> my god. So yeah, so it looks like so they're saying that the watcher basically controls Timothy then by the looks of it. And he the watcher stopped Timothy going into the toy shop uh due to I think toys from the outside world are not permitted. So I guess they're not permitted to be friends of Timothy or Timothy's not allowed to buy them, like purchase them, I guess. But it's really strange how like this is like this is like obviously a 90s kids show. These kids are watching this, right? And I mean, this is very authentic, don't get me wrong. And how, you know, we he the way that Mr. Simon is very just like, I'm so it's so unfortunate that like he didn't. But let's keep going. So the watcher sees all by the uh, the uh, subtitles. Nothing remains unseen from the watcher. I do not like this at all, man. This is a little bit weird. Looks like little brother Timothy will need to be re-educated. Yay! Yay! Re-education! It wasn't that an educational story. Tune in next week and we'll finish the tale of little brother Timothy. Oh, God. May he remain unseen. Bye! Bye now. It's that bit at the end there where he says, may he be unseen. So that's obviously the watcher, like I say, sees everything. It reminds me of like the Big Brother show, if you guys are aware of it. It's a, like a show where people like celebrities, like adults go into like a house for like an amount of time. Um, <clears throat> and they can win like $100,000 or 100K, depending on where you're from, obviously. Um, and then they, they basically get watched like on TV by like a live audience and stuff, obviously like, on TV, la la la. So it kind of reminds me of that. And on the next video we're going to be watching in, in a moment, I'm assuming we're going to probably find out more about it. So let's get to the end of this and then we'll carry on. Bye bye, Mr. Simon. Bye bye. Whoa. Wow. Okay, that was very. That was a very entertaining video, and there's a lot to think about. I must admit, that first video was very, very entertaining. I must admit, and there seems to be a lot to unpack. And 
I think I unpacked most of it in the video, but I just wanted to kind of cut to this scene just to kind of go through it briefly to sort of see what's going on. This is definitely a 90s kids show, 100%. Mr. Simon definitely is a bit of an next level creep, I'll be honest. He definitely comes across like it a little bit. Again, maybe he's doing it for the TV or for the VHS. You know, that's kind of what you got to do. You got to kind of put a front on. You got to kind of act it out. You know, maybe that's the case. But bear in mind, these were found in, you know, an abandoned residence. So how long they've been there, again, we don't know that. Obviously, players looking into this. But it just seems a bit strange how they've been dumped, you know. And, you know, now we've found this, they've been found. And this kid's show is definitely on, the, on another level very dark and it's very strange how the kids react just very excited to still be there i think mr simon's just very good at what he does and some of the faces he makes it does make you wonder is it him that's the is this is he the watcher maybe we're gonna move on to video two and we're gonna get to the end of this story i guess we'll find out what happens so we're gonna move on to video two it's a story time with mr simon episode two what is that? I have no idea what this show is, but I'm going to assume it's going to kind of maybe dive into this part of this video. If you guys are aware of what that is, let me know. But I have no idea what the show is. The only show I used to watch was Tom and Jerry for the most part. So let me know. Right, so here's the intro. <clears throat> Let's go into it, bro. Mr. Simon, how you doing, mate? You creepy F. <laughs> Right, here we go. If you look at this, you've got Mr. Simon there. I'm assuming that's Mr. Simon but behind the two puppets. And then you have the Watcher on the right, which I think I'm sure that is the Watcher. So does that confirm that maybe Mr. Simon is the Watcher overall? Or are they both working together? I could be right. I could be wrong. I don't know. But this there definitely shows something about that him, the Watcher and Simon are somewhat something's going on there. It's a bit strange, but let's keep going. But when you watch this intro, right, you don't even really think about it. You think this show's actually kind of cool. But then when you watch it, it's a bit more creepy. So there's the bear he spoke about as well on the first video. We've got a new puppet. Hello. Let's keep going. Oh, hello, children. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Welcome to story time with me, Mr. Simon. Oh, that was a bit weird, that I'm little cut there. Marcus. Say hello to the kids, Marcus. Hello, kids. Hey, Marcus, how you doing, mate? excited to continue last episode's story. Are you excited? Yeah. No, I'm not. Fantastic. I don't want to know what happened to hey, poor Marcus. Timothy. Yeah. Why don't you join the children? Oh, wow. So he said, why don't you go and join with the children? It looks like the puppets then said no. Obviously, that's Mr. Simon doing it. And then he's launched it out of nowhere. What the hell? This guy just seems to get more... It just seems to be a lot more every time I see him. <laughs> like, every reaction he does, or something he does, I just feel like, mate, you're a bit... What is going on with you? Are you okay? Well, let me remind you of where we were in our story at the last episode. Little brother Timothy had not been behaving in a way that honored the Unseen One. Had he? The Watcher. Yay! Kids, what was brother Timothy in dire need of? Re-education! That's right. Ooh. Re-education. Now part two of our story takes place two nomination periods later. Let's see if little brother Timothy shows gratitude oh. for not being nominated. Despite his transgressions. What was that? What do you think, children? Whoa. That, that, no. the tale of Let's the just go to that a second. Oh, he was saying, do you think he should be nominated for his transgressions? This has popped up, which I think is probably from the first show we saw at the start of the video. And then you've got a group of people who's holding someone and then it looks like they're going to chuck him or like throw him, I think. Does this link somehow to Timothy? Or just this whole series in general? I mean, possibly. If anyone knows any more information than I have by watching what you've watched so far, let me know. But for me, I'm not too sure what it is. But there's definitely something here, right? The tale of little brother Timothy, the corrected. Right. The corrected. So re educated the corrected, maybe? Little Timothy, the corrected, Ooh. and his classmates have been working hard at seminary. 
After passing their harmonious studies test, they decide to spend half an hour of leisure time at the park. It's still redacted as well. Pause here. So you've got, he's redacted fully, and then you've got these other kids, assuming kids. You've got one with a line there, one with a line going across. You've then got one go with a slanted line. And then you've got one with the X, which is the smallest one. So does that mean that this one here may well be on? It just seems a bit strange how they've all got different lines. It might That might just be me overthinking it, maybe. But it just seems to be something. Do you see what I'm trying to say? Maybe that's, like I say, maybe it's just part of the art for the series. But again, it could be something. We're going to keep going. Again, if you guys have any ideas, let me know in the comments. What are some things you like to do at the park, children? Spin the Wheel of Harmony. Fantastic. Ben, what's the Wheel of Harmony? What else? The Wheel of Sleeping Long Sleep. Wow, we The Sleeping Sleep? One more. Oh. <laughs> Whoa, what was that? <laughs> it, I, I don't understand what that's trying to say, but it said something. I'm going to try it one more time. <laughs> So like Syri something Syrian, I think. And if you guys can understand it, let me know. But that's what it sounded like to me. But I don't know what that was about. Let's just keep going. Play throw the muddled sugar. What kind of flipping thing is that? What? And although they're having a fantastic time, they decided to head back to make sure they were not late for their cosmology class. Oh, God. All except for... Brother Timothy. Oh, wow. It saddens me that you're correct, children. Little brother Timothy stayed at the park uh, rather than continuing on to seminary. He's been a bit naughty then, isn't he, right? Now, little brother Timothy considers following his classmates. But hold on. What? Who's that? Who the hell is that? Hello? Now, children, I would like to remind you of one oh. of our most important tenets. Outsiders are strictly forbidden. What is that? Is it like an outsider? As soon as we've just cut to the next bit, he goes, outsiders are not. Is that like an outsider? Maybe? Now, children, I would like to remind you of one of our most important tenets. Outsiders are strictly forbidden. And seeing imaginary abominations is punishable by strict corrective measures. Oh, wow. That. Oh, whoa. You wouldn't associate with imaginary friends, would you? No! Wow, okay. Fantastic. Unfortunately, little brother Timothy isn't as wise as all of you. So he likes so he likes to have imaginary friends then, right? The watch you don't like Despite it. Despite many Whoa. transgressions, little brother Timothy breaks another rule. The... Whoa. The something. Timothy decides to bring the abomination to the house. Whoa. We'll have to wait until next The abomination to the house, now, maybe? I strongly recommend tuning in for the finale of Little Brother Timothy, The Corrected. Whoa. Bye, everybody. Bye bye and may again. May he remain unseen. Bye. May he remain unseen. Could that be. That might be the watcher he's talking about. Whoa. Yeah, something's walked in here. Or am I. Oh, I don't know. I think someone has walked in, or it's just a screen moving. <laughs> it's definitely want something. Well, goodbye, Mr. Simon, for another day, mate. <laughs> oh my God. I'm intrigued to see what episode three is, though, about the finale. Because I think this is gonna be. This is gonna. There's gonna be like a big. Something's gonna happen. Whoa. Is that the Wheel of Fortune? Could that be, is it, was it the Wheel of Fortune? No, it's not the Wheel of Fortune. There we are, guys. That was story time with Mr. Simon. Some found footage created by Play. Now, I will be honest, that was actually very good. It seems very authentic. It's definitely a 90s kid show with an edgy, creepy side. Mr. Simon is definitely on another level. He's creepy, he's edgy, and he actually kind of, kind of makes me cringe a little bit, if I'm honest. But he plays it very well. Honestly, plays it very well. I will be honest, I am looking forward to checking out part three because we're going to have to because it's a no-brainer really, isn't it? <clears throat> so going back to sort of the story, there definitely seems to be something really effed up with Mr. Simon and the Watcher. 
and things like that. And it seems like little brother Timothy is a bit maybe like a maybe a naughty child of some sort, and he's gone against some rules that he has because of the Watcher. It seems uh, there's a lot to unpack, really. I think a lot of it I've unpacked in the video for the most part, but I think. To find out really what is going to happen on this, we need to wait for part 3, which hopefully will be out soon. And go and check out the creator in my description, guys. Uh, go and like and subscribe on their channel. If you enjoyed my reaction, please do the same. And if there's anything I've missed in this video that you can see from watching it with me, then let me know in the comments. It would be much, much appreciated because, like I say, I can't always find all of it. And if there's anything that I may have got wrong, again, let me know. Because, I mean, that I do appreciate that. I'd rather know if, I've, if there's something I've said wrong in regards to the series. And maybe you can correct it. But other than that, guys, thank you for watching. I hope you have a great weekend, a great evening. And I will see you guys soon. Keep it locked. Peace out. And leave me alone.